what i'm talking about post transfusion transfusion blood transfusion of course Lose, post transfusion immune immune mediated mediated hemolysis when we suspect that then we have to detect the antibodies of, on the rbcs right of the patient or complement let me give you a little theory about it let's suppose here is the donor here is the donor and let's suppose here is the recipient right we are going to trans this is donor right and recipient of course before doing the blood transfusion we have to make sure that between the donor and recipient there is abo compatibility and also there is rh compatibility but as i told you in previous lectures that there are so many uh, the, uh, ways to uh, you can say system of classification of red blood cells right there is abo grouping there is rh grouping like rh positive and negative then there are some other like kel k e w l kel system and there are let's suppose uh, def system and there are many other systems so what we do when we are going to do the pre transfusion <coughs> test before the transfusion we, we should make it sure that donor red blood cells right are not attacked by the recipient antibodies i will tell you why i am saying this word donor is giving two things when you take donor's blood and transfer here you are taking donor's rbcs you are transfusing transferring donors RBCs, rbcs plus of course you are taking rbcs and red blood cells and white blood cells and platelets and plus you are taking plasma components if you are transfusing whole blood of course that will include rbcs wbcs and platelets and also plasma component from the cells we focus on rbcs from plasma component donors may have many antibodies which will be also transfused and let's suppose here are recipient red blood cells these are recipient red blood cells and this is the recipient's antibody profile that's right okay i'll make it separate these are recipient antibodies now listen very carefully this is very important concept from donor if already abo blood testing is done rh compatibility is done and we are putting the donor blood into the recipient body we are giving donor red blood cells to the recipient we are also giving donors antibodies in the recipient is it right at the same time recipient has its own red blood cells and recipient has its own antibody combination clear now first you tell me whenever this components are going there recipient system may attack the donor red blood cells why if by chance there was some specific type of antigen here some antigen and this antigen was present on donor the rbcs right let's suppose it is not from abo it's not from rh some other minor system of r blood grouping if donor rbc had some antigens which were not present in recipient rbcs then these antigens will be considered foreign to this you are understanding yes. then donor rbcs some antigens might be considered foreign by the recipient immune system and recipient immune system may make antibodies against the donor rbc let's suppose this is a donor rbc 
राइट आई मेकिंग डोनर आरबीसी फुल फिल फुल विद द कलर द सीपीएंट विद एम टी कलर नाउ इफ इट इज हैविंग सम एंटीजेंस ऑन दिस डोनर आरबीसी इफ इट इज हैविंग सम एंटीजेंस ऑन द डोनर आरबीसी एंड इफ द सीपीएंट हैज ऑलरेडी एंटीबॉडीज अगेंस्ट दैट द मोमेंट यू स्टार्ट ट्रांसफ्यूजन if recipient has pre formed antibodies against the antigens on donated rbcs donors rbcs immediately reaction will occur because this red blood cell came from where donor and this was donor red cell antigen right and what was this this was the recipient antibody if recipient antibody is pre formed against some antigen on the donor red blood cell they will immediately bind if they immediately bind right if they powerfully activate the igm if they belong to igm class they will lead to intravascular hemolysis immediately this is called immediate post transfusion hemolysis what is it called immediate post transfusion hemolysis right again i will repeat when you are doing the transfusion as donors red blood cells are entering into recipient circulation if recipient is having some pre formed antibodies directed against some antigens on the donors red blood cells then the recipient antibodies will attack those donors red blood cells right and if they are strongly complement activator antibodies like igm class they will start destroying the donor rbcs as they are entering into recipient circulation so donors rbcs are being under attack in the recipient circulation and recipient will have intravascular hemolysis of the donor red blood cell is that clear and this occurs immediately now if igm is this is igm some of the rbc the partially attacked igm is removed and c3b is left there so if you take these rbcs out of what is this recipient circulation for laboratory testing if you are suspecting there is immediate uh, type of transfusion reaction what will be your first step yes very good first of all stop the uh, further transfusion and what you will do many tests one of the tests will be direct combs test on the blood sample taken from the recipient because direct combs test may find the become positive if donors rbc which are still circulating are coated with recipient antibodies or they are having recipient c3b component activity is that clear yes this is one situation other situation is that let's suppose donor rbc bring a very special type of antigen donor rbc bring a type of antigen against which recipient does not have does not have any preformed antibody that's right if donors rbc is bringing some antigen against which recipient does not have any preformed any preformed antibody in this case there will be no immediate attack by the recipient system because they are not preformed antibodies but these donor cells will circulate for long time into recipient rbc they have a 120 days life so as donors red blood cells will be moving in the recipient circulation, circulation and having some antigens yes. against which recipient, recipient does not have preformed antibodies but those antigens are still foreign for the recipient recipient immune system well the recipient immune system will process those antigens this was the antigen right recipient immune system will process that antigen and eventually make antibodies against that and these antibodies which will be made it will take few days and weeks to produce it will take few days or weeks to produce when these antibodies will be produced by the recipient some of the donor rbcs are still circulating there some of the donor rbcs are still, still circulating there and these antibodies will bind with the 
डोनर सर्कुलेटिंग रेड ब्लड सेल्स एम आई क्लियर एंड सपोज दिस वॉज डोनर रेड ब्लड सेल एंड टू काइंड ऑफ एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो डोनर रेड ब्लड सेल इन फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल आई सेड दीज वर द एंटीजेंस अगेंस्ट दीज एंटीजेंस द सीक्रेट हैड प्री फॉर्म एंटीबॉडीज इफ दे वर प्री फॉर्म एंटीबॉडीज इमीजिएट रिएक्शन विल कम बट इफ देर इज सम एंटीजेन against which recipient does not have preformed antibody but the recipient perceive it as foreign antigen so recipient will take few days and weeks to make antibodies against it and then those antibodies will bind here and damage the red blood cells this situation will be called delayed post transfusion hemolysis is that right that's right so we uh, what i'm saying that antibodies the recipient antibodies may attack the donors red blood cells if they are preformed there will be immediate attack if they are not preformed they are made over the time then there will be delayed hemolysis usually usually preformed are igm exceptions are there generally speaking preformed are igm so severe intravascular hemolysis can occur usually the antibodies which are later produced are igg because they are igg they don't effectively activate the complement but donors rbc which are coated with igg they will pass to the recipient spleen and get caught there and extravascular hemolysis may occur is that right 